again we come back to the session called drive motor characteristics i have given the some of the introduction about the characteristics earlier so in addition to that i am giving a few things um fundamental torque equations so based on the torque equation we are classifying the different characteristics uh, generator type load fan type load constant power type load and constant torque load in constant torque whatever the speed varies so the torque remains constant so likewise we may have the applications in that applications we can choose the, this kind of motor next one generator type load if speed varies proportional torque it varies so if mechanical input varies automatic the generation electric load put varies so that's why we are say calling this the type of load as generator type one next one torque directly proportional to n square is called as fan type load minimum current given to the induction motor it will give you a full speed of the i mean maximum speed rotation in the road up in the rotor that's why we are calling this as fan type load next one t is inversely proportional to n if speed v increases target decreases if speed decreases target increases inversely proportional to each other so by this we are getting the constant power across the load that's why we are they are saying constant power type load for example more boring and drilling etc electrical characteristics of dc series motor here field winding and armature windings are contained in series that's why we are saying this as dc series motor and so to analyze the characteristics of motor uh, we are having three three parameters electrical para characteristics mechanical characteristics and another characteristics by the comparison of speed versus armature current of the rotor why we are we have to study the characteristics if you want to analyze the person we have to offer him a, a job with the time limit and database should be in a perfect form and efficiency how much efficiency he has achieved by for doing his, his job in a better way so we can analyze we are by giving a time limit and when the time limit o gets over we are getting his job details back to analyze his characteristics likewise to analyze the characteristics of motor we are giving a load we are giving a load in the different percentage level 50 percentage 75 percentage 100 percentage level so after giving the load in the percentage form we are analyzing the characteristics called electrical mechanical and general characteristics for dc series motor electrical characteristics having the relation t directly proportional to ia square so small changes in the armature can causes the maximum torque across the armature or road top so when up to this point o a we are getting the parabolic characteristics after that this motor may achieve the saturation point at that period the armature can become directly proportional to torque even though the torque varies i mean even though the current drawn by the motor or line is high the torque remains constant based on the armature current so this is the electrical characteristics of dc series motor next one general characteristics of motor both speed and armature current are inversely proportional so that's why we are getting the characteristics like this next one mechanical characteristics this characteristic is same as to the general characteristics come by comparing the speed versus armature current so by that we can conclude the dc series motor is a variable speed motor right so when we are going for the different application we have to choose a proper motor based on your application if you want to get the variable speed operation you can choose a dc series motor now dc shunt so similarly here speed and torque well comparing the mechanical characteristics of shunt and series we are getting the variable performance but uh the speed of the dc shunt motor remains constant for mechanical also the general characteristics only the armature current and target varies so that we are getting the linear performance for electrical characteristics whereas in mechanical also in the general characteristics we are getting the constant speed even the target varies for the long very range next one characteristics of compound motor here two operations cumulative operations and differential operation 
cumulative operation is nothing but if the flux produced in the two field bendings are same direction and the same magnitude then that operation can be called as cumulative when these the sign of the two flexes get in uh, gets in opposite form then this operation can be called as differential here in cumulative uh, compound motor also can get the variable speed but not that much uh, what we get in series motor so among these three motors series motor is a better variable speed motor when compared to the compound and dc shunt if you want to have a constant speed application that you can choose a shunt motor uh, why because in naturally it is having the constant speed operation that's uh, so that you can choose uh, easily choose a dc shunt motor for constant speed operation right and compound motor where you need minimum changes in the speed also not much changes in the speed that kind of operations uh, example in train if you are boarding the stoppage at the next uh, within a 2 kilometers next stoppage will come so the speed variation should be there but it should be in limit so in that aspect we can choose the compound motors right so we have we have we came to the conclusion about the drive characteristics of the motor so with the idea you can give a a brief notes on the comparison between all the three motors by its electrical mechanical and general characteristics thank you